and, and I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year or early next. And I think we're looking at one major hardware revision that should be wrapped up by the end of this year or early next. Getting the hardware nailed down is absolutely critical for Tesla Optimus to seamlessly take on a broad range of household tasks. Precision engineering really enables the bot to do things smoothly, saving you both time and energy. But how exactly will this better design improve Optimus performance? Have you ever wondered what a difference a perfectly tuned design can make? Before we dive into that, please take a second to help us reach 1,000 subscribers. It would mean so much to us and really inspire us to keep bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and all the latest Tesla news. Okay, let's jump into it. Have you ever thought about what powers Tesla's Optimus? Tesla is using its well-known 4680 battery cell to fuel the Optimus bot, but not everyone agrees that this is the most optimal choice for a humanoid robot. Sure, the bot's body is big enough to fit these oversized cells, but to hit the necessary 48 volts, Tesla needs about 90 cells packed inside. Tesla has already told us the total capacity is 2.3 kilowatt hours enough for the bot to work for a full 12 hours around your home. That means it can do all kinds of tasks, like strolling through the kitchen, tidying up the living room, or looking after a child or an elderly person without worrying about running out of juice. And once it's low on power, Optimus can automatically return to its charging station. Charging only takes around an hour before the bot is back up and running. Pretty amazing, right? Could you imagine having a helper that never really takes a break like a human would? Tesla decided to stick with 48 volts because that's safer for people in close quarters. Going higher could pose a safety issue. However, to ensure stable power output and some built-in redundancy, Tesla will probably opt for a modular setup dividing the battery into multiple 48-volt packs wired in parallel. That approach increases the total power capacity and also improves safety because if one module failed, Optimus could still continue working. Pretty smart design, don't you think? And with each 4,680 cell packing roughly 26 amp hours, using a modular 48 volt system is enough to achieve the two 3K WH target. Tesla could have gone with smaller cells like the 2170, which come in at around 5 amp hours, but they'd need close to 10 of those to hit the target. That would complicate the design, take up more space, and drive up the cost. Using larger 4680 cells just keeps everything simpler and also plays into Tesla's existing scale of manufacturing at Giga Nevada. Makes sense, right? And what happens when these bots move into Tesla's factories and face serious industrial workloads like lifting components or tightening bolts? Well. They'll burn through the battery faster under those kinds of loads, but Tesla's fast-charging tech can top up an Optimus in as little as 30 minutes. That would let one bot recharge during a quick break while another continues working, creating a rotation model that keeps production going without interruptions. Can you imagine the level of productivity that could add? So, even though there's some debate about using 4,680 cells in a humanoid bot, Tesla's long-term strategy and battery expertise make this a smart and cost-effective move. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this deep dive. It really helps motivate us to keep these episodes coming. And what about the Optimus charging setup? A lot of people assumed it would just share the same connectors Tesla uses for its EVs like the Model 3 or Cybertruck. But Tesla decided to do something entirely new for the bot. Have you seen the demo video? Optimus approaches a dedicated charging station that looks minimalist and very mechanical. Once its power drops to around 15%, the bot will halt whatever task it's doing, flash a red light on its head as a warning signal, and then navigate itself back to a docking station. And here's a really surprising part. The port is actually on its back. Not on the side or legs like you might assume. That means Optimus must rely solely on its cameras and visual sensors to back up and align itself perfectly with the charger. Even a tiny misalignment could cause damage or prevent a successful charge. 
Tesla clearly thought this one through because the bot will do this carefully and gently every time. When the battery is full, the LED light on its head glows green and Optimus simply unplugs itself and returns to whatever task it was working on. Have you ever seen such an independent robotic helper? Pretty cool, right? It's all designed to feel as smooth and natural as an employee who knows exactly when to take a break and when to jump back in. And Tesla went even further. This isn't just dumb charging it smart and algorithm controlled. Optimus varies its charging speed and energy flow based on the time of day, its usage history, and even battery temperature. That means the bot can power up quickly without reducing its long-term battery lifespan. Tesla is really thinking long-term with this design. And as Optimus improves and gains experience, it shares that knowledge across all other Optimus bots. Have you ever heard of shared learning like this? Tesla refers to this as collective learning a way for one bot to pick up a new skill and instantly pass that skill along to every other bot in the Tesla fleet. This decentralized AI is super exciting and could be game-changing in practice. Just imagine one Optimus in Texas figuring out a new way to navigate around a chair and a bot in Berlin learning it moments later without anyone lifting a finger. Tesla's deep integration of hardware, software, and AI is what makes this kind of learning possible at scale. Does that sound like something from a sci-fi movie to you? And what about communication? That's where the Gen 3 version of Optimus really shines. Have you thought about how important a bot's communication skills would be for making it feel like a true helper? Tesla equipped Gen 3 with voice capabilities confirmed directly by Elon Musk. Unlike Gen 2, which was mostly silent, Gen 3 can hold real conversations, offer advice, tell stories, and respond casually. That's a big leap toward making Optimus feel like a true companion. And the bot also features a 7-inch touchscreen right on its chest for quick interactions. It supports up to 15 different languages, and Tesla claims its speech recognition is 95% accurate. It even understands gestures at up to It even understands gestures at up to 90% accuracy. Pretty impressive, right? That's incredibly useful if you plan to use Optimus at home or in a care facility, where knowing what someone wants without them always telling you can make all the difference. Imagine Optimus reading someone's tone and body language to understand whether they need assistance right away. This is where Tesla is clearly pulling ahead of competitors like Figure AI or Boston Dynamics, which mostly focus on movement without much attention to nuanced communication. And Optimus doesn't just listen at adapts. Tesla's AI can tailor the bot's speech style depending on who it's talking to. Have you thought about how helpful that could be? The bot could use a gentle, calm voice for an elderly person and then switch to a fun, energetic voice for a child. It can even tell bedtime stories or help with homework. That's a level of personalization most other robots simply don't have. And that's why Optimus Gen 3 is going to matter so much in real-world homes. Tesla is positioning it not just as a task robot, but as a supportive, emotionally aware helper that can offer company and even mental stimulation. Would you want one in your house? And with people living longer worldwide, especially in developed countries, that need for supportive, friendly robotic assistance is skyrocketing. Tesla clearly sees this as an opportunity and is preparing Optimus to fit seamlessly into that role. And if you want to make sure you never miss an update about Tesla Bot or other Tesla breakthroughs, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate every single one of you who supports Danny Nova. That level of integration is far ahead of most competitors who just offer standalone robots that can do one or two tasks. Tesla is creating a world where Optimus could be your home's central caretaker. And even in hands-on chores like laundry or cooking, Optimus Gen 3 can keep up a conversation, take new orders on the fly, and recognize when you need help without you telling it every time. Imagine simply waving at the bot to get its attention or saying, can you help me with this, without stopping what you're doing. 
And from what we've heard, you appreciate Gen what you're 3 is so going to be a massive leap Make sure you Gen hit that 2. like button and leave us a comment. Would you want Optimus in your home or your business? Let us know we'd love to hear your thoughts. And finally, this self-aware connected bot truly signals the beginning of a new era. Tesla isn't just making machines. It's creating a new kind of collaborator that integrates into your home and into your life. 11 degrees of freedom life. hand has allowed Optimus That's what to makes fold this clothes, such a thrilling water time plants, to follow Tesla's fold eggs innovations. without breaking them. Thanks so much for sticking around this long way. Appreciate you spending your valuable time with us. Before you go, please help us hit that 1,000 subscriber mark so we can keep bringing you these deep dive updates about TeslaBot and all the other Tesla news you care about. Until next time, stay safe and have fun.